What's up guys? Okay, so today we're going to be talking about uh, another little tip that uh, you may or may not know about the miter saw. Um, a lot of times this is for beginners and a lot of times, you know, people that's been uh, doing this for a while, you know, are just figuring this out once they get into more complex miters. Um, we typically just start out, you know, with our 90 degree flush cuts uh, and 45s. Uh, so we have no issues with setting that up on our miter gauge. But have you ever went to make, let's say, a 20 degree cut? It's here on our miter gauge and you cut it and you make another 20 degree and they do not match up at all um, to make your intended miter. Um, the reason why is because all of this miter gauge set off of zero where the 90 degree is. A miter saw was originally intended for um, framers. So all of this, all of the gauge is set up for, uh, let's say finding a rafter pitch slope uh, run, things like that. Um, it originally wasn't set up for carpenters, you know, doing, doing all of these odd angles. So the 90, is actually set at zero. Um, so everything that you cut has to be subtracted from 90, if that makes any sense at all. I know that sounds a little, little crazy, but I'm gonna show you up close here what I'm talking about. Okay, so what I've done, I've just moved my Move my saw over a bit, and I put these stickers on here just as a demonstration. Uh, if you're a beginner until you get the hang of this, um, you know, you can actually do this. Uh, you can leave these stickers on. I've actually seen people uh, take permanent markers and, and write this above, you know, all of these different miter settings. So, like I was saying, whenever we're going to make, you know, a 90 degree cut, we actually use the zero setting and that is based off of this fence if you have a board there you'll be making a 90 degree cut but on our miter gauges it reads zero uh, you know for the purposes that I, that I spoke of earlier about um, framing so in order to get our more complex miters we have to take 90 degrees because that's our zero, and whatever miter that we're looking for, we have to subtract it from 90 degrees. So, so let's say if we're doing a project and we're needing an 80 degree miter, you will actually just subtract 10 from 90, and then you have your 80 degrees. And let's say if you set your saw, let's, set, let's say that you set the saw to this 20 degree miter here, you're actually getting a 70 degree. 70 plus 20 is 90 all the way down until you get to 45 degree because 45 degrees 45 degrees you know that's 90 degrees so this is going to be accurate and the zero you know is 90 you know that is going to be just your flush cut and this is why a lot of times you know people don't think about all of these in between because you know as a beginner you don't use all these random degrees you're either doing a straight 90 you know or you're cutting 45s um, but as you grow as a carpenter um, you're going to want to start using all of these odd miters and you may have already ran into it uh, you know you may have gone to uh, you know to cut 30 degrees you know, and whenever you put your pieces together, they just don't match, you know, it does not work. The reason why is because you've actually put a 60 degree miter um, on the board that's against your fence. So this is just a, uh, an explanation. I'm going to uh, make a couple of cuts and uh, just to show you what I'm talking about. Um, and again, you know, if you find these helpful, you can either go in with a marker and write them down or, you know, put little stickers on there until you can remember it. Um, but 
the main thing to take away is zero equals 90 and you have to subtract these settings from 90 to actually get the miter that you are that you will be cutting okay so i'm going to show you an example here i have just cut this piece of wood with my miter gauge set at 20. okay so uh, that is set at 20. 90 minus 20 is going to be 70 degrees so I put my little angle finder here against the end of it and it is 70 degrees so even though the miter plate you know is telling you that it's 20 degrees remember you have to again you know zero is 90 you had to subtract um, you know this from 90 to actually get what you what your uh, result will be so 90 minus 20 is 70 so that is going to be 70 degrees so i hope this helps guys um again this could be a little tricky at first but you'll get the hang of it and you'll be uh creating some awesome designs and and content um, if you have any questions let me know see you